welcome back to another video from two siders in this one i decided to make a short video essentially a compilation of uh, pvp clips from when i was leveling as a hunter essentially um, as before i was leveling through bgs and i had a lot of fun uh, the first two lives i had were really unlucky i was trying to get uh, the first life just like hunter shots that i never really got Second life I was trying to be a melee hunter and then in this third life I was really lucky because I managed to get uh, arcane shot. Uh, I started with the uh, tame beast and uh, auto shot uh, but I managed to get arcane shot, I managed to get aimed shot and the multi shot as well before hitting 60 and I was really lucky because I managed to get two stuns for PvP, Hammer of uh, Justice and the Prot Warrior stun as well. And also, as you can see, Blink and Disengage. And here I'm trying to learn Paratrooper, which is a legendary enchant that adds a parachute to your Disengage spell. So it's pretty fun and I was pretty overpowered even though I'm really shit at PvP. Uh, comparatively, I mean, as a hunter you deal less damage than melee, but... It is what it is. I'm just stunning this guy and constantly what I had was Twinks trying to kill me and just one stun, two stun, disengage, blink, PvP trinket. I also picked up throw weapon which stuns. It's an epic enchant that stuns and as you can see I'm missing my mark. Uh, no pun intended quite a bit with my parachuting. But uh, here in this next life, uh, this is basically the dream. This is the dream kill. I drop down, parachute. I get increased crit with my abilities, none of them crit, but that's fine. Prevented the cap there. When somebody gets close, I stun. So I can keep ranging them, and then when they try to heal, I just throw my weapon with the enchant and kill them. Here, I had constant one health. I was shredding pretty hard, again, compared to my shit PvP skills and gear and everything. And uh, the healers managed to save me multiple times. So that's gonna be a pretty fun clip right here. Can't, cannot even see my health fully dotted and uh, I didn't die. And I managed to get some snipes as well. In the next clip, uh, I think the one after this one, I also managed to get the, uh, the flag. From one of our carriers but look at look how fun parachute is and when you drop down after parachuting it's essentially the rapid fire effect but twice as good your um, ranged a weapon speeds up by 80% so almost twice as fast shooting so yeah here I managed to get the flag from our um, flag carrier as he was dying and I actually held that flag pretty long. I went into our base and I held it for like 5-10 minutes until eventually too many people came and I, I died. I got a lot of help from my teammates though, so it was a really fun match. Uh, parachuting out, then blinking, and I got away. So, they didn't even know where I went. I was chased inside the tunnel. But yeah. Also, real player interaction, so... Franz here was selling his B-mount for 3,100 gold, then 2,800. I actually sent him a real written in-game mail, asking if, would, if he would sell it for 1,800, because that's literally how much gold I've had, total. And uh, once he got back online, he messaged me and uh, sold me his mount. Uh, this is my favorite mount that I wanted to get. I'm really happy with this purchase, thank you Franz. There are also orange and black variants of this B-mount, but this is the one I really wanted, so I got my dream mount essentially. It looks a bit silly with the, the troll, but that's fine. The next couple of uh, intertwined clips are really funny. Um, I do not endorse jumping down when uh, you are doing Eye of the Storm because the enemy doesn't get uh, XP and it's kind of shitty, but with the parachute I just had to try this. I thought I was gonna fall down to my death, but uh, watch what's gonna happen. So I actually get stuck on this uh, cliff, 
and when I go to jump down, the jazz music plays when you kill somebody with my random enchant. That was pretty funny uh, to me at that moment. I didn't know it could uh, trigger from your own death that uh, jazz enchant. Um, here I was chased by like 1400 people at the same time and uh, we got out of the BG unscathed. Uh, though it would have been nicer to just, you know, uh, let, let them kill you so they get a little bit more XP. Uh, I didn't realize the BG was ending. And I hit level 60. Um, I was doing dungeons and he in this one, I, it was such a long dungeon, but I, I it was worth sticking around because I got the Beast Stalker belt. I don't know if it's best in slot for hunters, but it's essentially like a hunter uh, set. I got the first, uh, uh, technically second piece because I had uh, a blue boots with them. But uh, later I get the epic boots version and also the Beast Stalker bindings, which is the wrist. So now I have three out of eight of the set. Underwater, uh, especially, you get 200% speed, so it's pretty funny with the B. In, uh, in Ashen Whale. I was also leveling up my professions, so um, one tip is that in uh, Angoro Crater, with the volcano, near the volcano, it's, it seems to be a really good spot for Thorium, believe it or not. There's a bunch of rich Thorium veins. Um, here we got the Beast Stalker's Binding, so that's really awesome for me. Basically the best thing I could have gotten. I managed to need it and get it pretty lucky, because other people need it too. And I tamed uh, some Devil Swords. I tamed the black one. And we leveled up my cooking and my fishing also. I really want to turn off the... Uh, I didn't want to turn off my microphone uh, in these Microsoft clips, but um, I want to set something like a, a gauge up so it doesn't... It's You know, the voice is not that annoying, the sound. With OBS it's no problem, it's just these clips. And here we go, bam! 300 cooking and also in the previous clip 300 fishing. I also bought the, uh, I think the Cyclopean Dread set and the, I think Death Stalker or something like that set, that's the green one. Uh, and I combined these three sets with the Ascension set to make my transmog. So yeah, it's pretty cool. The Death Stalker, whatever it's called, uh, the belt is actually 3D. What brings you to visit lonely old ones? So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.